Hey guys, Ryan Eford here with Canis. We're leaving next Thursday to head back up to Alberta to hunt with Sherwood Outfitters for Bighorn and the Wilmore Wilderness. We did this hunt last year and we had a, a big weather event that came in and cut our hunt a little short and passed a few rams and it just, just didn't feel right. And we're gonna head back up and do it again. Super excited, hopefully the smoke clears. They've had some wildfires up there. We've had a lot of you guys ask what we take on these hunts. So we wanted to put together a quick video for you just kind of walk through the gear that we'll be taking on this hunt. So I'll first start with the base layers, socks. Got the, the Canis uh, Tar Merino boxers. I'll take three pair of these um, and three pair of our Summit Merino socks. Just got these in, the Tar Merino hoodies. So I'll be taking this. Usually, historically, I've worn the three quarter zip, but this will be my base layer shirt. And then I've got the Tar Merino three quarter zip pants. Here I've got the chamois three quarter zip, uh, but this will be my go-to top. And a lot of times I'll run this even without the tar merino base layer underneath. My go-to pants on every sheep hunt so far are the Alpine light pants. I tend to run hot. These are super lightweight and I've just, I've hunted from Kyrgyzstan and extreme cold on a horse to Alaska and Alberta, British Columbia last year. They're just my go-to pant. I'll take one pair of those. And this is our active insulation top, the Alpha Grizzly. This has been a favorite amongst mountain guides at body maps. This is my active jacket when I'm walking around in the mountains. Next, our heavier insulation. I'll go with the down, the Alps hooded down jacket and the Alps three quarter down pants. It's just my go-to in the mountains. Super lightweight. Rain gear, we'll finish it off. The Nunavut pant and the Nunavut jacket. It's kept me alive around the world, uh, super lightweight. That's gonna finish out the gear that I'm either wearing on my person or that's gonna go in my pack. Now, I do wanna go over for this particular hunt. We did a horseback hunt last year in BC for stone sheep and then Alberta for bighorn. And three critical pieces of clothing. These will stay with the horse. Some guys wear a riding jacket our soft shell vest and our soft shell jacket. Typically on a backpack hunt, these aren't gonna go with me just due to the weight. There's other pieces in the lineup that are lighter, but for riding on the horse, these were fantastic. And riding chaps, these saved us. And, and you can see even from two trips last year, they took a beating, um, but I would definitely recommend if you're doing a horseback hunt, take chaps. I got these from South Texas Tack Company Headwear, I'm gonna take three pieces that weigh nothing, the Tar Merino beanie, the chamois beanie, so I can double these up, and then a neck gaiter. Let's go into the rest of the pieces here. Um, start at the front. I'm gonna take the chamois liner gloves that can go inside the operator gloves. The operator gloves are uh, more of our active cold weather gloves. We're going later this year. We're going to hunt September 15th until the season closes, till we get it done. Um, that's what I'm going to run on my hands. Up front, you've got the satellite phone, the Iridium sat phone, the Garmin inReach. Those are two pivotal pieces of gear last year. We, we thought for the first time ever, we might have to hit the global rescue button and had to call base camp. And Tyler said, I can get you guys out with the horses faster. Um, then, then Global Rescue can get in here. We had a big snowstorm come in, flattened our tents, and um, it was just a bad situation. But those were two vital pieces of gear because the guys down at the base camp had no idea uh, what was going on up top at the summit where we were camped. Let's go into um, gun, ammo, and ballistics. We've got the Snowy Mountain Rifle Alpine Hunter here with the Sarovsky scope. I've got the custom turret on it. I'm shooting Hornady Precision, um, 212 grain bullets, and we've got the Kestrel uh, for the wind and our ballistics. Um, knives, I'll run the uh, Norden Canis knife that we came out with, and then I carry also a, a SOG Mini Aegeus here. My vinyl harness is basically a backup knife. I'm running the Swarovski EL range 10x42 uh, binoculars and the marsupial harness. And one thing I failed to mention, it got hidden down here, was the Spartan Precision Bipod. This thing's awesome. 
I actually just picked up a pocket that uh, I believe they make. This will actually fit on my pack hip belt. One more piece of gear that was uh, a lifesaver last year that the camera guy actually had, fix-it sticks. Uh, had a, a piece come loose on the rifle, and thank goodness he had these, but it's simple. It's not light, but you've got basic tools in here that you can fix your scope and fix most things. For boots, super excited about these. I'm running the Crispy Brickstall Pro SF GTX. These are brand new, and I'll be honest, I, I like a, a very firm boot, historically hunted in Scarpas. On big mountain hunts, it's been hard to get away from the Scarpa uh, Grand Drews, but I've tested these. They're super stiff. They're a five flex rating by Crispy, and I've been putting in a few miles here. The good thing about Crispy is they don't take a lot of break in time. They're just extremely comfortable, but they're extremely stiff. So I'm ex super excited to try these out in Alberta. Uh, dry bags, I'm gonna take one of each dry bag that we offer. Those will go inside the pack, of course. Um, zero degree sleeping bag, because we're going later and it's colder. Um, this is just in the standard compression sack that, that comes with our bag. But I will actually run this in a Sea to Summit compression sack that I can really put some leverage on and crank down. So it'll be about half this size in my pack. I run a Nalgene bottle. Uh, personally, I just don't like dealing with the camelbacks and the hoses. I'd rather just, uh, just run the Nalgene bottle. I've just found that that's easier for me and that's what I prefer. Crocs, of course, every sheep hunter, mountain hunter needs Crocs because you can strap them on your pack, let your feet breathe when you're glassing. Um, canteen cup by Snow Peak. Uh, tent, we're gonna run the Hyperlite Mountain Gear uh, teepee tent. So we've got the liner, we've actually got a tarp as well and the teepee tent. Uh, climate air mattress. Uh, this is a very important piece of gear. The Soloscape Bivy, um, save your life if you need it. In uh, Alaska, after we shot a ram, we actually uh, slept out under the stars because we didn't have time to make it back after we dealt with the sheep, but that, that can save your life. And I've been in some situations where uh, those are very important. I'm gonna try this new piece of gear from Dark Energy, the Poseidon. Um, it's got good reviews to charge my phone and my inReach. And then I've got a Goal Zero panel there. Uh, we've also got a, a Goal Zero Sherpa that we'll pull juice off of. Then I've got the Canis trekking poles here that we offer. These things fold up, very small. Optics, I missed this when we talked about the binoculars. I've got the Swarovski uh, ATX 65. And I've got this new tripod, which I'm extremely excited about. This is the Tricer BC. It's extremely lightweight. Uh, you can check it out on their website, but they've actually, it's uh, smaller at the top and heavier on the bottom or thicker on the bottom. It's, it's basically the opposite of what typical uh, camera tripods, the, the way that they're engineered. But I'm super pleased with this piece so far. I look forward to trying it in the mountains. One thing we don't have here, guys are probably gonna say, where's electrolyte powders, um, our meals. This outfitter, he's got a trailer there when we get there. Um, it's in Canada, so it's just one last thing that we've got to take with us. We'll basically go in the trailer, we'll pick out our meals, our snacks, and our uh, electrolyte energy uh, powders that we'll put into our pack. All of this will fit what's not on the horse in boxes in case this turns into a backpack hunt. Um, if the situation dictates that, this will all go into my Exo Mountain K4 5000. Love this pack. I tested the prototype last year in both BC and Alberta. Uh, it's just a wonderful pack. Marking the guys up there, knocking it out of the park. So uh, stay tuned. Hopefully we'll capture this incredible adventure for you guys and you'll get to ride along and, and watch and experience um, this hunt with Sherwood Outfitters in Alberta for Rocky Mountain Bighorn.